Hello, hello, hello! And welcome to Recipe of the Day! You know, we are here with our pumpkin month we are having this month. And so I am excited to be here and show you guys another delicious recipe I got going on. We're changing our technology today. I'm using the iPad over here for your comments. So I'm uh, looking for your comments, hearts, likes because um, I have a new way to look at them today. So today on recipe of the day, hold on, let me get my pumpkins on. My pumpkins for the pumpkin month we're having this month. Let me get my pumpkins on. They're okay, now I'm ready. Now I can cook. Okay, so today we are making a goat cheese pumpkin pasta dish uh, with a pound of bacon. How delicious is that? I read this recipe and I'm like, well, yeah. Like, who doesn't want to make a pasta dish with a pound of bacon? Me! I don't think I'm alone there. So all my bacon lovers slash goat cheese lovers, you are in luck today. So I'm going to start by putting our pasta down. Um, I'm using a bag. This is the um, organic gluten-free from Trader Joe's. It just happens to be the one that I have and the one that I like. That's why it's the one that I have that you can use it at any um, pound bag of pasta that you have or you like. I'm going to throw this in real quick while we get going with our sauce here. And I'm going to set the timer so I don't forget about that. So hold on, I'll set the timer for like six minutes so I don't forget when I'm overcook my pasta. We don't want that. We still want it al dente. So I am also going to be making another yummy pumpkin cocktail today in honor of my BFF Lindy who loves Malibu. I'm like, oh, well, I can't pass that one up. So we're going to be making a yummy pumpkin cocktail. But let's get started with our sauce for our goat cheese, bacon, sage, yummy pasta. Um, I'm going to start with, of course, butter. So four tablespoons of, bu of butter I'm going to throw in there in the pan with a little bit of olive oil to keep our cooking temperature up a little bit. So with a swirl of olive oil in there. And then I have two shallots here, diced and re ready to go. Of course, Mo, I'm using my special GaryandLisa.com spoon. Kiss the cook. Here we go. Shallots go, uh, going in. So we're going to get that going. Let me turn this up a little bit. So I can cook faster with you guys here watching. And I'm going to let this uh, butter melt and let this get down a little bit here. Oh my yumminess. Yes. It's going to be so delish. And that. Very hot. So we've got our pasta going in the back there and our butter and shallots going in the front there. And I'm going to let that go for a second. I'm going to throw in, I have crushed here. Ooh, whoops, look at that. Hey, but you couldn't do that again. Um, our garlic, of course, fresh pressed garlic, but I just stuck it in the spoon here. This is about four cloves. I don't remember what the recipe called for, but this looked like it should be enough to flavor us up here. So I'm putting that in. Yum. Because really you can almost never have too much garlic in a pasta dish, can you? I don't think so. So let's get that garlic working in here with our shallots and butter. And yum! That's like onion and butter going in the pan. Yummy. Shallots are, by the way, just a very mild flavored onion. I really like them. Um, they're actually in the garlic family, but they're like a real mild onion if you've never used them they're delicious um hey jill how are you erin i say i got my i changed my technology here i'm over here sandy how are you hey girl how's oklahoma wish we were there erin hey erin how awesome is your husband right on kelly oh how are you girl i want to talk to you come see me um, hey sister, there's my sister, hello, and Denise, hey girl, how are you? Hello my girls, and Jill, oh, bacon and cocktails, yeah, you know that. So that's today. Oh my gosh, smelling good, getting nice and hot there. So two are, I'm still going to let that go for a second, so how are all of you? Let's have a little chat. Um, I'm making a pasta dish, uh, one of the reasons I picked a pasta dish for today is that my favorite child, my only child, got braces today! <laughs> so he is now has braces, and the doctor said it's going to be a few hours till it hurts. So by the time it's time for, di for dinner, he'll be ready for pasta. <laughs> so we'll see. 
see. Hopefully you won't have to have them too long. Hopefully we can get them off by seeing your pictures. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hey, Head. How are you? Head is having her teeth done today too. How are you, girl? We are. She was just here. The setup here. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, so to that, I'm going to go here with my next um, bit of ingredients here. So I am going to put in the pumpkin next, and I'm not going to measure this super carefully, but I need a little for my cocktail, so I'm going to put the pumpkin in. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I'm going to end my putting a little bit more than what the recipe calls for, but what am I going to do with like a quarter of a can of pumpkin left, right? So I'm going to saute the pumpkin in there. And as you guys know that have been watching, Trader Joe's for the win on the pumpkin. If you can't find the canned pumpkin, they came through. So we got our organic canned pumpkin at Trader Joe's. See how our pasta is doing here. Ah! Hot! Hot, hot, hot. Yes, let me see how this is doing. I definitely, it's gluten free, so I definitely don't want to overcook it or it's going to be very mushy. It's not done yet. Okay, but we will just keep checking on that. Okay, pumpkin in. We're going to put um, recipe call for cream. I just can't use cream, it just has way too many points. So I'm using a mix of milk here and half and half. Even half and half is a bit of a stretch, but I'm doing it. So in goes our milk into our sauce here. Actually, milk and half and half combo. But if you want to go for cream, you go for it. <laughs> no judgment here. You use what you like. So get that all blended in. Oh my gosh. It already smells so delicious. Oh my goodness. Yes. Delish. Okay. We got milk going on in there. Move this over here. So my director is telling me to get it out of the way. So that's in. Uh, we're going to use some white pepper. How much? A half a teaspoon. I will use a generous half a teaspoon. Oh, there's our timer. Oh, hold on, put the white pepper in here. And then check that pasta again so I don't get it overdone. I get sidetracked. Oh my gosh. Yes. Let's see, it feels like it might be done. So hold on, let me test this out. Yes, it is done. So six minutes on that is done enough because I'm gonna make it this into a casserole and it's gonna cook in the oven still. So that is done enough for what I'm gonna use it for. Okay, so where was I here? Milk, goat cheese, we're gonna use about Oh, five ounces or so of goat cheese and crumble that into our sauce. Yum, right? Delicious already. And we're not even done with all our, yu our yumminess here. Hey, Gloria, how are you? And happy birthday to your daughter, Christina. She's watching. It was her birthday this week. And your other beautiful daughter, Becky, my buddy's birthday's Monday. So you have October babies, huh, Gloria? When's your anniversary? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I just put about half of that log in there with the goat cheese. And I'm going to put a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Um, yum. This is on here. Oh yeah. Hey Kelsey, how are you? Tracy, welcome. We are making a pumpkin goat cheese pasta dish today. And we are just put our goat cheese in here and let it get melted and our Parmesan cheese and white pepper. And I'm gonna put just a quick smidge of salt. It doesn't call for salt. Par uh, Parmesan cheese has a lot of salt, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt just because it's a lot of pasta and a lot of milk. And so we got our little bit of salt in there. And then I'm gonna let that goat cheese get melted here. Oh my goodness. This smells delicious. Okay, so let's let that goat cheese get melted there. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, you have four in October? Like I said, when's your anniversary? <laughs> What's nine months back? Oh my gosh, how funny. How's the weather there? Are you dodging this, the latest round of hurricanes, Gloria? Gloria's in Louisiana, those of you guys who don't know. She's Becky's mom, Becky Fuquay's mom. She's the best. And she had a lot of kids, and four of which in October. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so as you know, we will give these away, because there are not enough of us around here to eat these. So I have my giveaway pans here. So I will plan on that. Let me taste this real quick and see if it needs anything else before we dump our pasta in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Is that good? Yummy. That's good. I think that needs a little more um, pepper. For me, for my taste, I'm going to put a smidge more pepper in there. And I'm going to put a smidge more salt in there. Because we're going to have bacon on top of this too. So I don't want to go too crazy. But always taste before you assemble so you know that you've got it going on. Oh my gosh. Hey Erica, how are you? Welcome. We're making our goat cheese pasta dish here. So to my sauce here that's bubbling away, make sure I got everything in it, which I think I did. Yes, now I'm going to put my pasta in. So, ah, my hot pasta in. Hold on. Very hot. Let's try that again. Hold on. So I'll put my pasta in. Break it up a little bit. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to turn off the heat here, stir in our pasta. Oh my goodness gracious, yummy. And to that delicious bit of pasta yumminess, I'm going to put some fresh sage, about two teaspoons of fresh sage is going in. I just chopped it. You can use dried, of course, if that's what you have. So use a little bit less if you're using dried herbs than versus fresh. So if you're using, if I, you'd replace that with about a teaspoon of dried sage, I use two teaspoons of fresh sage. So this looks delish. Okay, let me show you guys how I'm going to gracefully put this in this pan. We will see. <laughs> but it is very hot, so let me pull it over here. So well, my director's going to want this probably right here. Okay, so take a look at this pan of deliciousness. Hey Instagrammers, how's it going? Here's our pumpkin pasta goat cheese yumminess. I think I will get a ladle because I think that will be the least crazy way to do this. <laughs> uh, so let me grab a ladle and I'm going to put this in a to-go box here. Who wants to win the pumpkin goat cheese pasta today? So, on top of this, is that about half? It's about half. I am going to put half of the bacon. Is this okay? Okay. I want you guys to be able to see. So here we go. Half the bacon. Now this is one pound of cooked and crumbled bacon. Uh, yeah. Yum. I will sprinkle about half of it onto the first pan. And then I'm going to sprinkle some goat cheese on the top. Always nice people know what's going to be inside. Of course, it's going to be all melted and bubbly. Hey, Anne Marie, how are you, Florence? How's it going? We got our goat cheese, pumpkin, bacon, fresh sage pasta dish going on here. Oh my gosh, yum. So there's some crumbled goat cheese on top. And then you just bake this in the oven until it's all bubbly. Or in this case, you could put it in the fridge until you're ready, and then pull it out, and boom, you have yumminess here. So there we go. There is our finished pasta, bacon, goat cheese, yumminess, and then, oh, Parmesan, hold on, about a quarter cup of parm on top of that, too. So this is my cheese lover's dish here. Now we're ready. I'm going to put my garnishes out. I forget to put them on when you guys are watching, but there we go. That is the yumminess of that one. So I'm going to move this because I'm going to make our next pumpkin cocktail creation. And I'll put this over here. Oh my gosh. 
You guys, these recipes are so delish. I know, totally yummy for sure. And I use gluten-free pasta in that, so it's gluten-free. It's not dairy-free, but it is gluten-free. So I dumped out my water there. Okay, so this recipe was in milliliters. And so since I'm not a metric person, I had to translate it from milliliters. And uh, I'm gonna start here with my, here's my pretty cocktail glass. And then um, I will, oh, my water's still on there. Okay, fixed. I'm gonna start with my Malibu. This is rum, coconut rum. And I have my handy dandy shot glass here. And with my um, metric conversions, it's 1.7 uh, uh, ounces of rum. So we will put about 1.7 ounces of rum. <laughs> and then we're gonna go with our same 1.7 ounces of coconut cream. And I bought the coconut cream in this squeeze bottle because then, you know, I can just put it in the fridge and have it for other things because a cocktail doesn't take too much coconut cream. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Um, coconut cream, very sweet. So I just put about one and a quarter um, ounces, shot gla uh, glasses of the coconut cream. And then I have my fresh lime juice. So I squeeze my fresh lime juice and that's about a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna eyeball that. Tablespoon of fresh lime juice. And then I'm gonna put about the same, a tablespoon of our pumpkin. So I'm gonna put, eyeball that, put our pumpkin in there. So our um, pumpkin right out of the can. And then we have, we're gonna, oh, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice going in and we're gonna do two and a half ounces of pineapple juice. So we will use our little shot glass here. One, two, and a half. This is good, I know. Never knew there were so many fun cocktails in the world, but I'm finding them out. There's lots of them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna shake this, get my lid on my shaker so I don't wear it. And we're gonna shake this. Malibu, coconut, pineapple, pumpkin, lime juice, and see, I bet it's gonna be a pretty color. My gosh, smells like coconut. Who else loves coconut like I do? Yes, yummy. Okay, let's try out our cocktail here. Hey Nick, how are you? Just in time for the cocktail. We are making a Malibu pumpkin colada. So here we go. Oh my gosh, another beautiful pumpkin cocktail. More than my glass will hold. Okay, let's give th this a taste. Oh wow, that's delicious. Okay, you just need an umbrella and a beach chair and you're all set with this cocktail. Because I mean, rum, who drinks rum? I drink rum like when my feet are in the sand, right? Somewhere far, far away where the water's warm. So if you want to feel like you're far, far away where the water's warm, here's your cocktail. That's delicious. Pumpkin colada, yum. So that is what's going on today. I have a whole host of birthday shout outs for today. So let me get my, let me switch hats here. Ha ha ha, not just figuratively. Oh my gosh. Who do you know that needs to sell their house? We need inventory. So send us your referrals, GaryandLisa.com listings. It is crazy out there. Um, luxury real estate up 42%. So it's nuts. Um, birthday shout outs. Back to my birthday shout outs here. I had to make a list now. There's so many. Okay, today's birthday, Randy Hinton. Happy birthday to you, one of our dear friends and neighbors. Um, hope you're doing something fun today. Maybe you come over, I'll make you a pumpkin colada cocktail because I got it all set up here. Um, Krista Rude, happy birthday to you. And Aubrey Watkins, it's your birthday today. And then yesterday we missed a couple, John Orr and Daniela Luxon and Courtney Rivera. Birthday, October birthdays, happy birthday to you. And tomorrow, our dear friend and Las Vegas winner, Erin Seiler. It's your birthday tomorrow. And she'll be taking her annual vacation with her whole family coming up soon next week. So I'm excited for her. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. And her husband just hit it big in Vegas. So I'm so happy because it couldn't happen to a nicer family than you guys. So I like it. I don't think I've ever seen that many Benjamins in one place. So way to go, John. 
So happy birthday to you. And then we have our giveaway today. We're giving away these awesome pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns that glow in the dark. And they have a little drawstring and they're so cute. You can use them for a purse or your kids to get their candy or a centerpiece. They're just adorable. And um, you know, it's important when they glow in the dark, right? So if you have liked or commented on these vi videos here or um, on YouTube, Ventura Real Estate's our YouTube channel, please go and subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand. So please, if you're watching this on the replay, hit replay and let us know you're watching. But if you have liked or commented on these videos, you are in the fish. And so let's see who's winning the pumpkin today. Do, 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 do. Heather Freeze! You must be in here twice, Heather. Are you in here twice? I think she won one already. Heather, I'm drawing another one because I think you won this already, which means you're in my fish twice. But I can always get you something else too. You're worthy. My sister wife, Heather, was my guest on the show last week, but I'm pulling another one. And that would be Tim Blackwell. Winner, winner! You won the pumpkin! So, hope all you guys are having a good day. We are here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. I put my pumpkins back on here. And we love it when you guys watch, when you watch live, when you watch the replay. And things start showing up on my doorstep. Like this week I had this cute little pumpkin showed up on my doorstep that said, you are phenomenal. And then yesterday I had, can you hand me those? And I'll show you what showed up on my doorstep yesterday. Because I love it when things show up on my doorstep. This is my little pump, my pumpkin I got. Um, secret Santa, I guess secret Halloween pumpkin. And then look at this! My light up spider necklace and a spatula. How cool is that? So, uh, uh, awesome. So remember there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best. And visit us at GaryAndLisa.com, Venture Real Estate on YouTube. And be here with us live Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. If you have a family favorite recipe, send it in because we're always looking for new ideas. And we love it when you watch. We love you guys. Great to see you. We'll see you Saturday. And as always, make it a great one. Thanks for watching.